1700s robots, also known as automatons. In 1768, there's one called the musician, the woman, the draftsman, and the writer. The dolls are still functional. Over 300 years old, still functional robots from the 1700s and can be seen at the Museum of Art and History in Switzerland. They're considered to be among the remote ancestors of modern computers. This is before the Declaration of Independence. This is the guy that made them, okay? Hidden hand, enough said. They are the Freemasons that are exhibiting the hand gesture for the hidden hand or the hand that is at work but hidden from the, the world's population. This is the guy that made these. The musician is modeled as a female organ player. The music is not recorded or played by a music box. The doll plays a genuine custom-built instrument by pressing the keys with her fingers. Movements of her chest show her breathing and she follows her fingers with her head and with her eyes. The automaton also makes some of the movements that a real player would do, such as balancing her torso. About the draftsman, it says, the draftsman is modeled as a young child and is capable of drawing four different images, a portrait of Louis XV, a royal couple, believed to be Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI, a dog, um, and with an inscription written next to it that says my doggy and a scene of cupid driving a chariot pulled by a butterfly the draftsman works by using a system of cams that code the movements of the hand in two dimensions plus another dimension to lift the pencil the automaton also moves on his chair and he periodically blows on the pencil to remove dust robots before the Declaration of Independence. The writer is the most complex of the three automata. Using a similar system to the one that was used for the draftsman for each letter, he's able to write any custom text up to 40 letters long. He uses a goose feather to write, which he inks from time to time. This, this, this robot, this android, is dipping the pen into the ink and actually, check this out, including shaking of his wrist to prevent the ink from spilling. His eyes follow the text that's being written. His head moves when he takes uh, some of the ink. Antiquitech, ladies and gentlemen, made by the Freemasons. In my newest book, uh, Return to Hyperborea, I go into more detail about the origin of the Freemasons, who they really are. So do check that out if you're interested in more on the subject.